Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my hospital bag video and I'm super excited just because this is my second time that I will be packing my hospital bag and I feel like this time around I have a little bit more knowledge. It's pretty recent since I gave birth to Max so we're definitely going to be able to um, know exactly what I need and what I actually used rather than overpacking like I did the first time around. Um, so the bag that I will be using for my hospital bag is this Louis Vuitton duffel bag and it is the Keeple 55. I honestly always butcher the names because they are in French. I don't speak French so I don't know how to pronounce half of the, um, you know, half of the bags that they have. But if you guys follow me on social media, on Instagram, on Snapchat, on Twitter, you guys know I've actually been wanting this bag for a while. I went on a Snapchat rant, even on one of my vlogs, where I was telling you guys that I really wanted this duffel bag. And unfortunately, I love to splurge and buy myself nice things. And you guys always, you know, you guys know that whenever I do buy myself designer bags, but I could just not find it in me to purchase this duffel bag. And honestly, it's really, really pricey. It does retail, I believe, for like $1,800 or $1,900, something along those lines. And I I don't know, like I felt like I wanted it, but I didn't need it, but I just really wanted it in my closet because I knew that it was gonna look nice. And I do travel a lot, so I was like, you know what, let me get it. So I was contemplating getting it with my first um, with Max because I did I was thinking like let maybe I should get it for my diaper bag and uh, For my hospital bag and I didn't end up getting it. So then this time around I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to just get it. So if you guys are familiar with pre-loved items um, I actually didn't even know about pre-loved items, but I recently um, started shopping around and there is a website as well as an app and it is called the real real basically they have every type of item I mean they have items that people are selling they're pre-loved they have discounts up to 90% they carry all type of designer brands it's a designer website for people who are getting rid of stuff and also for people who want to purchase but just don't want to spend all that money on there you know what i mean so me being the person that i am like i was like you know what maybe i'm gonna get my first pre-loved item so i did download the app the real real and um i'm gonna show you guys just on the website just because of how cool it is and i wish i would have known about this sooner um because you do save a lot of money and the stuff is 100% authenticated. They have a team of professionals who literally authenticate to make sure that what you're buying is 100% real deal. And I was really surprised. If you guys see the bag, it's like practically brand new. There's a couple of little scratches like on the lock, but the actual bag itself has no nicks, nothing. Like whoever owned this bag before took amazing care of it like it looks like i just got it out of the box and because they do have 100 percent authentication you know that you're actually paying you know real money for real deal stuff so on the app itself if you go i'm gonna go to the app and just kind of show you guys what it looks like on the home page louis vuitton bags are probably like one of the top searched ones you click it and then you see the you see the duffel bag so you guys can see like right in the front it shows the 60, it shows the 50, and they're going for 1,200, 795, 1,095, um, 795, 895. You just click basically whichever one you actually like, look through the pictures, see if it's the bag that you want. And then if you go down, there's a little section that says condition, and it will tell you. So on this one, it says it's very good, faint surface scratching on hardware. Um, minor scuffing and discoloration on exterior, minor uh, residue on interior. So they let you know what the actual little nicks that you're gonna find on the bag itself. Um, so this is the bag and I'm so excited. I feel like people will always like kind of like, why are you so excited over a bag? 
but when you work for something and you're just like oh i've always wanted it you know it's like it's something that just looks really cute and bougie and i just really wanted this bag i wanted to be i wanted to feel like that bitch okay i just wanted to feel like that and i do with this bag especially me being a mom even better <laughs> you carry all types of brands obviously not just louis vuitton louis vuitton balenciaga chanel like all your top luxury brands for you to purchase so yes um so now i'm gonna go right into the bag you guys can see when you open the bag there's a lot of room and a lot of space so mind you this is my second time around going into delivery and i haven't had really much time like i literally jump from one baby to the other so i literally packed only what i knew that i needed because with max i didn't overpack drastically but there's a lot of stuff that i honestly didn't even need we needed the basic everything went pretty good for me as far as delivery goes i was there for a while but when you do get to the hospital you're in their pajamas and their socks so they pretty much provide everything for you to be honest with you they offer everything pads you know your little uh, nightgown everything it's not until you actually give birth where you would change into like your pajama your nightgown your robe all that stuff um, because at this point you're able to shower I personally was in the pajama that they offered you most of the time when I was in labor and then the socks as well I used them I had slides I even bought slippers last time I didn't even use the slippers I had just my slides with socks and like I said I was in bed walking around most of the time with my slides so I didn't need a lot of the stuff that I overpacked so this is literally what I used that I know that I need for this specific time and i actually am packing my bag this time around earlier because you're probably wondering like girl slow down but i only have about two months left but max came three weeks early so i just want to make sure that i am prepared because you never know with labor you never know so in my bag um first we're gonna go i'm gonna have to put this down so for clothing i packed a bunch of underwear so i put a bunch of black underwears like these these are all the granny panties cover the booty they go up to the waist these were my favorite everything that i picked up was from amazon like you guys know i shop on amazon for everything and i used all of these things from amazon last year and they worked amazing these pant these granny panties are bomb like they literally they look huge but they literally just like hug everything and I actually like the pads that they give you at the hospital. They're like diapers, like these diaper looking things. I liked those bags, I mean those pads. I felt like I actually felt secure. Like I actually felt like all of it was being like captured, especially like all the blood, you know? Especially because the first couple days you are bleeding a lot. At least the first two days, I love the fact that I could wear those. It wasn't until I actually got home when I changed into the always thick orange pads. So just FYI, you don't have to pack any in your bag if you don't want to. I used the actual ones and these held in the pad so nicely. And I feel like this is why I love them because these underwear just kind of like hugged everything in. So they felt really comfortable. So I packed three pairs of those and then I packed a black robe which i also got from amazon i'll link everything down below which i also got from amazon and it's just this black robe robe i actually used this most of the time when i was there in um in the delivery room because i did have a lot of people coming in and out and it just made me feel a bit more comfortable knowing that i was a little bit more covered because the pajama that they give you is kind of open from the back and then in the front so you know you can kind of get like a little uncomfortable so i had this over it and it, it made me feel just a little bit more uh secure with everything so i got that excuse if i'm out of breath but i have lights on me and it's so hot today i feel like i'm drenching in freaking sweat like oh my god these last couple of weeks are crazy like i just feel so freaking tired um so the next thing that i packed is this nursing tank I only packed one because I only needed one last time and these nursing tanks are amazeballs. I still wear them till still till this day. They have this little clip in the front and you can just literally wipe out the boob and breastfeed. 
So I did breastfeed Max for maybe like a couple of hours until he didn't latch anymore. Um, attempting to breastfeed was definitely a hassle. I exclusively pumped for him for about two months, almost three months, and it was exhausting, it was draining, but I know that the first two to three months are like a crucial time when you're pumping and you're breastfeeding, so I definitely tried to give him as much milk as I could from my, from my actual boobs. Um, but these were amazing. I highly recommend these. I got these on Amazon as well. They have them in sports bra version as well. So if you guys are interested in getting those. And then I am taking the exact pajama that I wore when I gave birth to Max. And this is from Amazon as well. And it's just this really cute pajama dress. And this is what I changed into right after birth as soon as i gave birth and my epidural wore off and i was able to walk i took a shower i got all cleaned up and this is what i was in most of the day i was only there for about a day and a half after i gave birth um when i was giving birth i was there for about three days so this one was really cute and i was able to take like really cute pictures and not feel like super naked either and then i put my robe obviously on top of that one and then for my way home so i did put everything i did pick everything in black and the reason behind that is because it's better to go darker colors if you don't want to go straight to black i would highly recommend to do like a navy blue just because you never know like you might bleed through you don't want to mess up your really cute pajama or your really nice pants or anything like that um it's always better to be extra careful especially when you're buying really nice things so i just stick to black i love black anyways my favorite color but in case you guys are wondering why i have so much black my going out outfit my leaving the hospital outfit is just this tank not a tank it's a shirt and it's also from amazon and it's just really flowy it's a v-neck i got it in a size medium and it's honestly just really comfortable the material is really fresh i'm going to be giving birth in august which is going to be hot a f so i want to make sure that i'm actually still comfortable even though i'm wearing black so i put that tank to go home and then i packed up my go-to leggings these are from gmona and these go-to leggings have been my lifesavers not only while i'm pregnant but when i gave birth they have this elastic up on top that literally just hugs everything a lot of you guys were wondering how i lost all of my baby weight as soon as i gave birth my stomach literally went flat as soon as i left the hospital and that was because my mother as soon as i gave birth she fajar me right away and i do have fajas um i'll probably do a separate video for that but as soon as i got home she fajar me she like tightened me up she had me on this whole chicken diet and she had me in these for a whole ass like 30 to 40 days like la cuarentena is literally <laughs> it was the worst i couldn't leave my house i left at like two weeks to go out like outside and my mom was like having the biggest panic attack she wanted me to be abrigada at all times and honestly like i'm thankful that she took care of me and that she was like really watching out because she always tells me que una mala caída, una mala caída from labor is worse than actual labor like like I could get a um, you know hemorrhoid hemorrhage or something like that like when you like bleed out I think that's what it's called. So the fact that she was like really really taking care of me I appreciate her. But these were my lifesavers, guys. Like they literally just felt everything in like my gut, my baby, my everything that was gonna come out and needed to come out. And these helped them. And they're from Gia Monet. They're just leggings. So I'm wearing those when I leave the hospital. So I also packed up. I don't know where they're at. Oh. I packed up my slides and these are just some furry slides these are the slides these aren't the slides that i was wearing but these are the slides that i've been wearing like pretty much every day now and honestly they work absolutely amazing they do their job they're just slides and they look cute so that's gonna look cute even for me to like go home i'll be able to wear those as well and then i packed up my toiletry in this clear bag i got this bag off of amazon as well and in the bag i just have like basic essentials i have like hair ties hair ties are really important i didn't realize how important hair ties were until i was giving birth 
hair ties. I have like my shampoo, my conditioner for when I shower, my deodorant, I have toothpaste, my toothbrush. I have face wash, I have body soap. I have a razor for whatever reason, just in case I need it. Um, I have makeup remover. I have a brush. I have some hand sanitizer in there. And then I have my perfume. I'm not gonna be wearing perfume just because when the baby's born, I'm not gonna, I'm not sure if she's gonna react to anything, so I'm not wearing anything scented. Um, but I have it in there just because this is like my toiletry that I use for all times. And then um, I also put nipple cream. So the nipple cream that I used with Max is this one, and it's called Mother Love Nipple Cream. I got it on Amazon, and it is a lifesaver, guys. I was bleeding, crisping, cutting, everything in the book. My nipples were literally so bad like so bad that it made you sad looking at them because of how bad they were like i was i was in so much pain like excruciating excruciating pain and as soon as i put the nipple cream on it was like god's gift on earth like i started feeling really good they were so moisturized and then at that point i was able to pump and breastfeed really comfortably it's safe for the baby all that good stuff so that's the nipple cream that I got. And this is what the toiletry looks like. I probably will be packing up like my curler and my blow dryer um, just because the day of, I do wanna take pictures like when we leave. So I wanna make sure that I actually do myself and um, my makeup like I did last time. I packed up like really light makeup so I can at least pop some lashes on, all that good stuff. You know, you gotta look good for the gram. Typical, typical. Okay, and then now, for the baby, I did pack up her stuff. Oh, and I also packed up my Polaroid because I want to take pictures in there. And items that I obviously didn't mention are like the car seat, um, the boppy pillow, um, my charger because I obviously need my charger. I'm going to pack up my charger, my cameras. All that stuff is on the side ready for me to just grab and go, but I obviously still need them till the day comes, so that's why they're not actually in my bag. And then for the baby, I packed her up two outfits. So I packed her up this one here, which is this really cute little onesie. It's black and white. And then I picked up this one. This one's probably the one I'm going to take her out of the hospital with. Do you see how freaking cute this is? Like little girl clothes is absolutely adorable. I get lost in there though. I feel like it was so much easier to shop for Max than it is for a little girl. And then... Um, I didn't pack the baby up like any diapers, wipes, no suckers, none of that because they give you literally everything in the hospital. When I tell you guys to give you everything, I mean they give you everything. And then I packed her up this blanket so when we leave, and then I packed her up the swaddle blanket that I'm going to be swaddling her in for the picture um, when she's actually in the hospital, like in her little bed. Um, I have the swaddle blanket with this little hat. I haven't decided if I want to do like the little beanie style or the actual bandana, but it's this really cute, rosy um, swaddle blanket. I got it on Etsy. And then I'm gonna do like the whole little board thing, kind of like what I did with Max. And then I also packed up um, a Wubbanub. And this is Max's favorite, favorite pacifier. I got her this little cute sheep. And just because I knew Max loved it, he loved his pacifier from the moment that we had him in the hospital. And a lot of people are really against pacifiers for babies when they're barely born. But I also heard that they're really good for like SIDS and stuff like that. So um, I'm totally team like passy, you know what I mean? So I love this one. It's absolutely cute, super cute for a little girl. And that's what I have packed up for her. So like I said, I'm basing this diaper bag um based on my experience the first time around so first time around i went not nuts but i went pretty like i need four shirts i need two robes i need two blankets i need this and this and that oh one thing i do need to pack up is also a bath towel i did not pack a bath towel when i went with max so this time around i do want to take my own bath towel so when i do shower but this is pretty much what i actually ended up using the day that i went to the hospital and gave birth but um, yeah, guys, this is it. The time is almost here. It feels so real actually being able to um, Do this bag video for you guys because it's starting to kick in like girl You are about to go and be screaming your life away giving birth in a couple of, of weeks, you know And I'm getting a little bit of anxiety thinking about it, but I'm ready. I am ready for my baby girl to arrive I'm ready to just go back to me and you know 
take on this role of being a mommy of two now and I'm so excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited and trust me, there is nothing in this world that Blanca cannot take and I am up for the challenge and I cannot wait. But um, yeah, this is gonna be the end of today's video. If there's anything on here that you guys think I might need that might be like a necessity that a oh, girl, you lost, you forgot this, definitely let me know down below. Um, but yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Love you guys. And what? <laughs> You're dumb. You ended up making it already? Duh. Living my best life. You want cheese or not? Cheese now? Yeah, but I'm not gonna be able to eat right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're dumb. Just smile so wide